Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to start vibe coding offline. So the first thing you're going to need is Olama. Click download. Then, depending on which system you're on, click on Mac, Linux, or Windows. Uh, on Linux, you just run this command. On Windows, you have to, I guess, download it for Windows. I don't know. Go to models. I do recommend sorting by most popular simply because uh, popular models tend to be better. I know that's a fallacy, but it's usually true. So right now, the most popular one is Gamma. You can pick this. I do recommend getting a higher tier model if your hardware supports it. So if you're not really sure, just get the 1 billion parameter model. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, your computer may be a little, um, underpowered to do this kind of stuff. The model I use personally is Quen 2.5. So definitely recommend this. Uh, Quen 2.5, uh, 7 billion parameters should be just fine. If you have difficulty running this, you can go all the way down to 0 0.5 billion parameters and you could see if that works. So if you have trouble running the 7 billion parameter model, try running the 0.5 billion parameter model. Actually, I'm just going to install this just to show you. So to actually install the model, we're going to copy this command here. Okay, so if that worked out, you can start asking questions. So write me a uh, hello world in Python. Let's see, well, yeah, that's technically right. Uh, let's try how to merge to collections in C++ 20. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume that's right. So if you want to chat, with, so if you just want to chat with this model, that's perfectly fine. You can ask it like very simple questions. It's gonna give you very simple answers. Uh, the problem is, if you're actually coding with this, every time you ask it a question, you have to kind of like uh, let's let's uh, look at the code here. Take this code, copy it, you know, uh, like this. Click copy and then paste it somewhere. So. That's not that's not the ideal workflow. So what you want to do is you want to install a text editor that actually supports these uh, AI tools. So one of the text editors you can use is Zed. Uh, the only problem with Zed is that it's not supported for Windows. So if you're on Windows, uh, you have to wait for it. If you are on Windows, I definitely recommend getting Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to show you how to set up your workflow for both Visual Studio Code and Zed. Okay, so I have Zed opened, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Control Enter. This gives you an inline prompt, and you can actually select which model you want to use. And here I have a bunch of models, and I'm going to pick, let's say, let's see. I think Quentu is pretty good. And I'm going to ask it to open a file passed from the command line with file and read its contents, then print them to std out. So that's the inline prompt of doing this. Uh, you could also click down here and you get a little chat assistant, so you can ask it questions. So for example, what is the best way to read a file in Python? And to send you have to do control enter, I forgot. So that's a Z for you. If you like it, use it. If you don't, don't. Let's uh, switch over to VS Code. Okay, and here we have and here we have VS Code. If you just installed it, you probably don't have Copilot. So you definitely need to go to extensions and search for Copilot. So install Copilot, come back. 
and open, uh, let's see, the chat. So click on chat, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click down here and click manage models, and you are gonna pick a llama, and you're gonna select which model you wanna use, right? So if you want to use uh, Gamma 3, you can. If you wanna use Quen, you can. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So I have Quen 0.5 billion parameter here. Let's click okay, and let's ask it a question. So how to open a file in Python and print its contents. Right, so there you go. You got something very competent from a 0.5 billion parameter model. So there you go. You don't really need to subscribe to any uh, fancy service. You can just do all of this offline on your computer. See ya.